Hi, I'm Dan Brown, owner of Somerset Asian Market, located in the Tradewind Shopping Center near Roses. So a, a lot of our customers have never been into an Asian market, have no expectations other than you know, they know what their favorite dish is. So we, we try to provide ingredients um, for your favorite dishes uh, from the Japanese culture, or from uh, Japanese to Filipino to Chinese to Thai, Vietnamese, Cambodian. We're a small market. We have to cater to every different ethnicity in order to, to survive. That's, that's half the fun for people that come on our store shopping. They're looking for the new stuff. They're looking for things they've seen on TikTok or things they've seen on Facebook or their friends shared a video or, you know, maybe now with all the time we're spending inside, people are looking at more, watching more videos and they have their favorite cook they follow on YouTube and they're looking for ingredients that you can't get at a Kroger or you can't get online or if you get it online, it's, you know, twice what you should be paying for it, things like that because of the shipping or whatnot. You know, it's good to shop local because, you know, we go out to Baltimore, we go out to uh, Chicago, we go out to Atlanta, we'll bring it all here so that you can shop here in one spot instead of having to kind of go online and hit or miss the ingredients you need for a certain recipe. Um, a lot of my customers will ask me, you know, do you follow this cook or do you follow that cook or who should I follow? Um, a lot of times we'll just kind of supplement what you're already watching. You know, if you watch an anime series uh, like Naruto and they have the Rumune, you know, we'll have those Naruto Rumune, Rumune for you because, um, you know, that's what we try to do. We, we really love when people come in and get excited for food and for our items and it kind of keeps us going. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of work filling the shelves, especially during a pandemic where merchandise is not easy to get, not easy to get here. Gas prices have gone up 50%. Uh, you know, it's, it's a challenge. But uh, we, we do enjoy seeing people come in. People come in for the first time. Um, a lot of times our customers will share their posts on Facebook about the foods they like that they found here. And then their friends will be like, well, we didn't know Somerset had an Asian market. And uh, I get a lot of customers that come in and they're like, you know, they're looking for stuff that they had when they were a child or when they were overseas in the military or, or things like that. or. Um, you know, we really love having customers come in and find that item that they remember from 20 years ago that they tried and they loved it when they're on vacation in Hawaii or things like that. You know, that's that's the joy of our business for us. Um, is seeing new customers, um, getting to kind of share life with them and things like what they've seen on TikTok that they want to experience for themselves or they want to see a new cultural item, you know, they want to explore new cultures. Um, that's our passion. It, it's, it's helping people have fun, basically, with food. And, you know, as you kind of explore, you're doing more cooking at home now because of the, the pandemic, or you want just to try different things, or things that you normally have been getting in Lexington, uh, we'll have the ingredients that you need to make those things. So you can still uh, have different foods and really have a great time making them. I, I see kids come in, and the, the kids have watched these videos of of uh, jelly straws and boba teas and the parents have two and the parents are like you know what is a boba tea you can't you have to chew when you drink it that's kind of weird and uh, you know it, it comes down just the way you think about things because you know, you know you you eat you eat soup and you chew but the idea of drinking and chewing is foreign but it's one of those things where the the even our canned boba teas have become the best seller in the store just because it's simple, it's easy, the flavor is really good, it's a new experience for a lot of people. You have to drink it with a straw, uh, you know, to get the full, the full experience of it. And, um, you know, it's just really fun. I've been doing the, the, same, the same thing for four years. So I've got a lot of experience, you know, talking with people and finding out what their interests are, what their passions are. You know, do you watch anime? Do you have a certain character that you like? Or do you, um, do you eat a lot of chips? I've got customers that come in here who are on low-carb diets. Um, 
And once I find out you're on a low carb diet, well, we have this noodle that has, you know, six grams of carbs. Or we have this uh, mabu tofu that you add with tofu, which is really low carbs, and you add your, your protein, which is zero carbs, and all of a sudden you've got something that's really tasty that's really low carbs. Um, we have a seaweed that is a net zero carbs. Um, we have a kimchi, which has, you know, hundreds of probiotics, and it's not something where they cook it, you know, like they do yogurt, and kill all the probiotics. It's actually naturally, um, if you like sauerkraut, then you'll love kimchi. Uh, ours is very low spice, so it won't give you acid reflux or anything negative. It's just something you will enjoy. And, you know, because we have a lot of customers that come in buying it, we get a case every week or a case every two weeks, so it's always fresh. Um, if you want the sour, more authentic version, buy it now, eat it next month. But our version, light, crispy, and very tasty and very enjoyable. You know, pre, pre-pandemic, we used to do a lot of traveling. We would drive up to Cincinnati, we'd go to Jungle Gyms, or we'd drive to um, Knoxville and go to Sunset Market, or we would drive to Nashville and go shopping there. Um, but now, you know, we've really cut back our traveling uh, because we don't want to be part of a big crowd. Um, and we found that you can actually find everything you're looking for here in town. Uh, you know, we have a lot of local merchants whose passion is the same passion as yours. It is very important to shop local because, you know, you can spend hours online looking for a certain item that you're, that you're passionate about. Or you can walk in a store and spend five minutes talking to someone that shares your passion and find the same item. A lot, a lot of times online, you look at the price and you're like, well, I can't afford to eat healthy food or I can't afford to you know, spend ten dollars for a bottle of seasoning and you'll come into a local store and find out it's half the price because you know when we ship it we ship it by the truckload so you're not paying to ship a small little box that the postman has to drop off at your door you can walk in the store pick it out yourself and then even get some ideas about other things that you didn't know you needed for this um, you know when you buy the gyoza um, dumplings did you know there's a dipping sauce for it when you buy the spring rolls or egg rolls do you have a dipping sauce already in mind you know those those are the type of questions that when you deal with someone um, they can ask you those type of questions and, and save you and also add to your experience you know it's like the canned boba teas uh, they don't come with a straw but I know for me personally that the experience is so much better when I have a straw it was just more fun you know, it's more fun, um, and that's that's what you can get with a local a local business. You find someone that's that's passionate about the same things you are. Um, nowadays, in our current economy, if the person that's at the local business is not passionate about their business, they're probably not going to be in business for long or already on the way out. So, um, you know, if it's something you're passionate about, then come to a local business, and they'll share the same passions you do. You know, nothing very complicated, but you have to be willing to come in and try. That's the biggest thing. Just come in and try.